Is your accent modern RP? You sound slender, thank you. But what's modern RP? What's the name of the style of your black one? Um, so I have two black ones. The I have the classic flap in medium, and I also have the vintage classic flap in medium, but that's a um, tan one. So you do zero editing or content creation on the weekends. No, I also do it on the weekends. So basically <laughs> it's every day, <laughs> but when you like doing something and you want to do it, like you will just do it all the time, I think. But I like to working. But on the weekends, of course, I take content because a lot of my content is like, revolves around me going out or socializing or like whatever. Or I go, you know, I create a vlog, like come spend the day with me. And so I'm actually, it's like every single day, basically. As I said, sometimes on a Friday, like I'll give myself like the day off. They mean modern received pronunciation at Queen's English. I have absolutely no idea. What's the name of the material of the Chanel bag? So both of my black, uh, all of my um, Chanel handbags are in lambskin. How do you get into luxury content creation if you're not rich? Um, the thing is about luxury content creation, I feel like you have to have the things in order to be able to talk about them. And I feel like when you look at a lot of like luxury content creators, um, that talk about that kind of stuff, they do tend to buy a lot of the stuff. So it is quite tricky. Um, I would say start doing something else, content creation around something else. And then when you start to buy, be able to buy the things that you want to, then you can then pivot slightly and then move more into the luxury area. Where do you get your vintage Chanel? I got it from Designer Exchange in Knightsbridge. How do you check if your makeup was tested on animals? So I don't check if my makeup was tested on animals. I'm not saying that I agree with animal testing. I don't. Um, and I think that the onus is with the companies. Um, and I don't think that animal testing should be a thing anymore. Um, however, I think it's, as I said, it's similarities to people eat meat and I don't eat any meat. Um, and so, yeah, unfortunately, I think that the companies need to be the ones that are doing better with animal testing. Um, I wouldn't be happy if I knew that certain products that I use animal tests, like I, maybe it would, it would factor into, you know, my decision, but it's, yeah, it's like a, it's horrible either way, but you're pescatarian. Yes, I am pescatarian. Lucy, what should I do? He's taking two days on his shift doctor to reply. Should I ghost? No. If he's actually like a doctor and he's working, um, and he's taking two days to reply. Definitely don't ghost him. He's probably just working. Definitely don't do that. Your lives are so satisfying. You get to the point and just answer our questions. Thank you so much. At least you haven't said that I talk really quickly because loads of people moan about how quickly I talk. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go soon because I'm tired. How did you meet your boyfriend? I met him in a nightclub. Oh, but posting on Instagram, that's kind of provocative. Oh, okay. So he's taking ages to reply to your messages and then posting on Instagram. I think, look, I think it depends at what point in the relationship that you're in. Like, if you're quite far ahead in the relationship and this is happening, I think it's more cause for concern. If it's very early days, then I think just see how it goes. Don't ghost him because of it. Just see how it goes. Be, look, you've got to play the same game back. Be as, care as much as he does. Like be, if he's only, if he's going to take two days to respond, that's fine. Then you chill, you speak to someone else, you do whatever, you get on with your life. And then when he messages you, you're like, oh, and then don't sit thinking about it. I feel like, you know, at the beginning, you've got to play hard to get, but this depends how long you've been dating this person for. If it's already like quite, you know, a long way down the line, then it's more of a cause for concern. Wasted a rose. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's Margot Robbie. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I cannot. Uh, what nail shape do you ask for? They're nice. I just get almond shape. I think it's just almond. Where is the zip up from? This is from Riker, London. Okay, you're literally getting blocked now for saying that. Weird man. You might have answered this, but what do you do for a living? I am a full-time content creator. Watch is beautiful, thank you. Do you consider it as a luxury investment? I've had it for absolutely ages. It's a vintage Rolex, so it's not like, you know, a newer one. It's it's worth like a fair amount, but it's not like crazy. But I quite like that, that it's a little bit more understated and I don't have to like be scared for my life if I leave the house. Although I still don't wear it because with the way that London is right now, it's scary. <laughs> It's all these men, go away. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to head off shortly because I'm really tired. And there are plan your content. Um, I don't really, I kind of just like in the more, like I use a productivity journal and I kind of like write down video ideas when I have them. Cause sometimes like spur of the moment, I'll just have an idea. So I'll write it down. And then I kind of like have an idea of like what I want to film, but I don't to the T kind of plan it out. If that makes sense. I think, okay, what am I in the mood to like film today? And maybe I see a sound and I think, oh, okay, that would be perfect for that. And so it's more spontaneous. Some people say content creation is hard. Some say it's easy. What do you think? It's easy in some ways and hard in other ways. So it's easy in some ways that, you know, I don't have to be sat at a desk. You know, I can set my own hours. The pay is quite good, um, but it's hard in other ways. Like, you know, there's lots of competition. Um, you know, you can have really good months and then bad months. Um, it's quite can be quite lonely. Um, and also you don't ever switch off either but I would say there's a lot harder jobs you know like if you're a doctor or a nurse like this is easy compared to that have you tried Pilates reformer yes and I love it Roberto I miss you oh my god How do you manage it all? I mean, I don't. Today. Um, so, you know, I just have to, you just have to stay motivated and, you know, yeah. You have to kind of, I think it helps when you enjoy what you're doing. Like I enjoy what I do and I enjoy the process and I like creating the videos. So I think that really, really helps. 